Third degree, or complete AV blocks, occur when there is complete failure of the AV node to conduct any action potentials from the atria to the ventricles. The pattern on an EKG is often termed a complete AV dissociation, where the atria still conduct their own impulses, while the ventricles conduct impulses separately, with an electrical focus either coming from a junctional or ventricular source. On a cardiac strip, you'll see varying PR intervals suggesting this dissociation between atria and ventricles. In other words, the atria continue to produce action potentials like they normally would with normal sinus rhythm at regular intervals. And so, you'd be able to march your P waves through the strip at regular intervals. The only difference is that with a complete heart block, those electrical impulses don't conduct through the AV node and to the ventricles. Instead, the ventricles inherently fall back to another pacemaker. This will either be a junctional or ventricular focus. Here's an example of a junctional escape rhythm in a complete heart block. Note the dissociation between P waves and QRS complexes. Junctional rhythms usually have a rate between 40 to 60 beats per minute and produce narrow QRS complexes. This is in contrast to complete heart blocks with a ventricular focus. In this case, QRS complexes are wide and slower, usually occurring at a rate between 20 to 40 beats per minute. Regardless of whether or not the ventricles are conducting through a junctional or ventricular focus, like the P waves mentioned earlier, you can also march out QRS complexes at regular intervals through your cardiac strip. So in summary, with complete heart blocks, you'll see a complete dissociation with electrical activity from the atria and ventricles. Although P waves occur at regular intervals, and QRS complexes also occur at regular intervals, they do so independently of one another, and so there is no association to when a P wave is followed by a QRS complex. This results in a PR interval that widely varies. And finally, third degree AV blocks are dangerous and will often require some form of intervention, such as a pacemaker. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button or leave a comment below. I try my best to read all your comments for any feedback or ideas for upcoming videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you know when we release new videos. In the meantime, head over to our Patreon page and consider supporting this channel so we can continue to create and provide you with more great content.